Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, so the overwhelming majority of everybody wants me to do solar install for this uh, Renogy 200 watt solar kit. And uh, that's all the comments been is uh, make sure, you know, do the solar. So I decided, you know, I would start planning it out and uh, I was uh, just kind of uh, looking over things and stuff. And I ran into a few little problems I have to fix first. Um, I'll show them to you. Give me a second. Okay, well, the first thing is I need to go purchase my batteries and modify my battery drawer there because um, my batteries are too tall. I have to do a little bit of modification there and then, uh, uh, you know, make sure those get wired in proper. And uh, I'm going to put it, plan on putting um, two interstate six volt golf cart batteries in there, 225 amp hours. So, um, so I need to do that and get that situated before, um, so I have something to hook the system up to. And um, I'll show you the other thing too. We're gonna have to climb a ladder. Oh, there's that thing. I was planning out my wiring. Okay, so we're up, gonna go up here on the, I was gonna put the wiring right here. I can get through the, uh, the shell of the bus right there. So the wiring would go in here and go down through the shell of the bus right there, which in turn would go down to my, pound, my power panel wall where my Wanderer inverter was going to be. But um, this isn't the problem here though. This is, uh, this is something I was planning on. I'll show you the problem is up here. See how dull the roof is? Before I go sticking panels down on that, I want to um, get this thoroughly cleaned up and uh, get, get all the, um, the oxidation off of it before I put the panels down over it. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible to clean later. And I'm going to be reaching up through this skylight for some of the, uh, for some of the work. So um, I definitely need to help this skylight out a little bit. Look at that. I need to clean that all up. I need to paint that white. And I need to run some new, uh, scrape all this off and uh, run new decor around this skylight. Make sure this is all in good shape. And I need to do that before I go and start, you know, putting the uh, panels right next to it. So um, I got a little bit of work up here first. And uh, I, I still need to run decor around the base of these too. You can see the sealant there, but, but I want to run a little bit of decor around that too, that one. And on that one over there for the bathroom. So, I think I got a little bit more work to do prior to putting those up. So, sorry guys, I'm not going to be able to do it on the next episode. It's probably going to take me three or four more episodes before I'm ready to do it. And um, I do have some interesting th stuff going on though. And... Uh, I got a new stereo for the for the bus, which is going to mount in that power wall right there. I'll show you where it's going to mount. I'm going to mount it in that wall right there, up high, and uh, it's going to be able to play uh, DVDs and uh, CDs, and um, it's got Bluetooth in it. I can cast off my phone to it um, and it's going to also run a TV right here that's going to flip down from under the counter, flip back up, probably about a 20 inch, between 20 and 24 inch TV right here. And uh, that, would be, that would be a nice seating area here. It's going to have a remote and uh, that should be fun. And. Um, the other TV is going to be over here for the uh, seating area right here. So you'll be able to watch TV. It'll, it'll, it'll be able to swing out here and or out here. But um, yeah, that's the plan. I'll, I'll go take you up to the front shop and I'll show you the stereo. Okay guys, I'm back with you here. And I already opened this thing up. And uh, I made sure the damage, box wasn't damaged or anything. But, um, 
let's get this out here. So it appears to have a remote with it. It has um, HDMI on the back of it. It's got a remote. It also has the old style cable attachment for it for other things too. If you, you have that option. Some batteries for the remote, some more wires. Okay, we're looking at it upside down. There it is. Yeah, so it'll take uh, CDs, DVDs. Um, it also has uh, a couple ports on the front here for uh, USB and uh, SD cards. So. Uh, then there's an auxiliary coming out the front for headphones. Looks like a 3.5 millimeter. And um, it has AM FM stereo. And uh, it's got Bluetooth, like I said. And um, yeah, it looks like a pretty neat unit. So it sits to the wall right here like this. So this is the only part you're gonna see on the wall. And the rest of this is gonna be in the back by the um, by the, all the rest of the electrical. So there's an AM FM antenna, take an automotive style, which I'll put on the bus. And there's the, um, there's your video outputs, if you have the old style. And there's the HDMI going out for the newer style TVs. And um, this thing looks kind of neat. I'm happy with that. I'll leave a link to it if you, it's made by Connex, and um, I'll leave a link to this, and you know, in case anybody's interested in it. I think it was uh, it was either eighty nine or ninety nine dollars, and uh, this is going to work really good for uh, you know watching movies and casting off your phone you know, on Bluetooth. So it's uh, it doesn't have every option that you know most of the real techie people want, but it's. It's got enough there that it's going to be very functional and uh, should make everybody happy. Okay. Well, I decided to go ahead and put the stereo in. And instead of putting it on that uh, one wall that I was talking about, I think I'm going to put it on the other side where I'm going to mount the TV, um, down by the footboard. So I'm building a box that will go under the shelf. And um, this is going to have a filler panel put in here, kind of like a, what a door would look like. And... Um, in that panel, I'm going to cut out an opening for the stereo to fit here. So basically the stereo is going to be centered in there. After I, yeah, I'll center it all in and stuff. But um, I think that'll look pretty good. I think the remote will work a lot better there because you're going to be sitting with your, or laying at the other end, and you're going to want your remote to be facing your TV so naturally you'll want your remote on this too. And uh, yeah, I think that'll work better. I'll get this finished up and we'll go put it in. We'll get a stereo working today. Hey everybody. I've got the uh, box pretty much put together now. And uh, that's what it looks like. I'll show you how the uh, stereo is going to mount into it. <clears throat> it's kind of a snug fit, but it goes right in there. There it is. So this box is going to mount underneath the cabinet and the stereo is going to be inside of it like that. That looks pretty clean I think, don't you? 
and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some uh, oil rub finish on this. Then I'm going to take it back, mount the box under the shelf. Then we're going to mount the stereo into it. And um, and we've got a bunch of wiring to do. It doesn't take all that long, though. Oh, I wanted to show you something else, too. Look at all these little uh, speakers I found in the store. Um, this is from an RCA surround sound system. And they're compact little dudes. They're 4 ohm, like this system requires. And, uh, yeah, they're not that big. I see it in my hand there. But anyway, I have five of them. I wish I had six of them because this is a six-speaker system. Maybe I'll be able to buy one someplace or something. I don't know. I'll look up the part number and find out. But um, these weren't even hardly used. And uh, got them out of a storage unit. And I think those are going to sound really good with this. Especially in that little enclosed area back there. Okay. So, so far so good. I'll catch you on the next one here when we take it back to put it in. Hey, good morning everybody. It's the next day and uh, I put the uh, that hand rub finish on this uh, stereo pod, I guess you would call it. And uh, I think now I also ironed on some uh, covers for the bottom and uh, Morning, Rubes. Hi, buddy. Did you just wake up? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go take this back there and set it into place in the bus. And uh, first, I'm going to pre drill a couple holes in this and uh, get my screws and my uh, screwdrivers ready to go. Um, I'm going to have to use a little short uh, angled uh, drill for this one here to, to get it in. But anyway, I'm going to uh, see you in a couple minutes. Well, you guys ready to put this thing in? I'm going to put it right here. <clears throat> it's got an open back so the wires can come out the back and ventilation. So keep it cool while it's running. And I'll just pull poke a hole here and put the wiring up through the top there. But... Um, so let's get this thing started here. Oh, I'm up to 400 subscribers. I'd like to thank everybody that's subscribed to the channel and I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get on with things. You're crying an awful lot there, Ruby Dubes. What's the problem, buddy? Huh? What's the problem with you? Well, let's see if this works. Ouch! He's crawling up my leg. Uh, Ruby. Well, I'm kind of a uh, Getting a bad start on this one. I can't seem to get positioned properly. <clears throat> Ruby dopes. Little crybaby kitty.
Well, this is a little harder to do than I imagined. I thought this was going to be a breeze. Isn't that the way it always goes, though? Two more and we got it. Well, there it is. I don't think it'll be in the way there. And uh, right here we'll have the flip down TV. It'll fold up underneath like this. Um, I probably have room to fit maybe a 20 to a 22 inch TV right there. You know, make sure it folds back and gets out of the way. Um, but all in all, I think it looks pretty good. Um, <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it all in first, then I'm going to mount it onto the panel. That way I don't have to fight it from the back side. And uh, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, I got two of the speakers mounted in. I put one there and one over in the corner. And uh, I have them uh, facing forward toward me, or, or actually sideways toward me, not forward on the bus. It's forward toward me us thing. I'm confusing everybody now. But anyway, I've hooked them up with this um, right here. Let me get over here so you can see this. Uh, this is a extreme outdoor Velcro and I used full sheets on it. So those should not be going anywhere. They're, they're just solid as heck in there. And that one over there too. So I'm going to do the same there. I got to go get some more. I'm going to put one in that corner right there. And I'm going to put one right here. And um, I've uh, ran a power cord over here. I just got it tied here for the moment. And I armored it. And it's going down the corner, which I'm going to put a molding on that. Then it's going to go across with this other one here. Then over to and up to the switch panel. Because I have a stereo. Uh, that's the blower. Accessory stereo right there. There's the stereo button right there. And, um, you know, while I'm doing this wiring here, I'm going to go ahead and wire in the um, water pump right there. And uh, we'll charge up that water system next and make sure everything, there's no leak in any of this uh, PEX plumbing down here. And um, I needed to check that out really good anyway. But I'm going to be wiring up that... Uh, that pump that's right down there also while I'm doing this but I'm gonna make this thing play today this should be a pretty fun little project yeah I'm gonna wire it all up right out here then I'm gonna set it up in then hook it in and that way uh, yeah I don't have to fight all that wiring from behind and uh, my younger years I'd be more than happy to do that but now I get all cramped up back hurts you know um, yeah, too bad you get old, huh? But anyway, I'm going to um, keep on keeping on here. I'll keep you posted. Okay, guys, I got the other two speakers up there. That one's up there, and this one right here. And I've ran all four speaker lines. I've put them in uh, armored uh, cable. You can see down, well, you can't see it. But anyway, I've got an armored cable up at this upper end here. And uh, here's the hot wire. 
and I've got the connectors on them, on all of them. So what I'm going to do next is, hello Rubes, hello buddy. I I need to. Uh, you play that? Huh? You play that? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> you can't see him, but he's grabbing at it. Anyway, this plug-in right here goes into the back of the stereo, and these all these wires here have to have spade terminals put on them, so they will connect to all of these wires. Looks like a jumbled up mess, doesn't it? It's really not that hard because I have a color-coded diagram here of the plug. That's the plug right there, right there. And these are all the wires coming out of it. And each one of these colors tells me where each one of these goes. So I'm just going to follow the blueprint here and uh, get it all hooked up the best I can. And uh, we'll fire this thing up and take a listen to it. All right. So uh, that's all I got for you right now. Let me get busy and I'll keep going here. Well, guys, it's the end of the day. It's about seven o'clock and uh, I have failed to uh, get this in all the way today. I did get all the speakers in. We got all the speakers in here. There's the last one right there. And um, I have... Uh, I have it all wired, um, but I haven't got the hot wire on it yet over to the uh, fuse panel. And uh, I have to clean up all these wires right here and get them armored up and uh, put them away. So, uh, and um, also there's a, uh, there's a FM antenna wire here too that needs to be strung up someplace. Um, or I could put an exterior one on there. I'll see how good it works. If it if it needs an exterior one, I'll just end up putting an exterior antenna on the on the vehicle. But um, there's Rubes. He has not been helpful today. He's been pestering me, he's crawling all over me, trying to crawl up my legs and scratching me, crying, crying, and crying. But anyway. You know, sooner or later, I'm going to take those stickers off. I got one in the bathroom, too. I just need to heat it up and pull it off. A little gooby gone, and that's out of there. And uh, the watch your head one there, I'll probably just leave it. <laughs> I may need the warning. Who knows? Um, yeah, there's one of those in the bathroom, too. And uh, there's one right up here at the front I need to take off. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, I just didn't get it done today, so uh, we're, we're going to have to uh, fire it up in the morning sometime. So uh, I'm going to say good night to you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm f uh, powering up the stereo right now. Uh, did I mention this is episode 45? Yeah, Mr. Kitty's kind of love you this morning. Aren't you, Rubes? But anyway, I have the power to it. There it is. Um, I've got to read the book and figure out how to, uh, um, you know, to run the thing, basically, and, and how to uh, cast off my phone onto it. And figure out how to get onto the FM. Um, I have it hooked up over here to my uh, my switch. So if I flip the switch, power goes out on it. That's pretty cool. That way I don't have to stare at that 12 if I'm in bed or whoever buys it. You know, and I don't like all that light. I like everything off, right? Like that. But anyway. That's where I'm at this morning. Um, just about ready to fire it up. I'll bring you guys back here in a minute. Hey guys, it's working. It's working good. It quit naturally when I started filming, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but this guy is on BT for uh, Bluetooth and it's working great. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull these caps off of here. And I'm going to screw that in there. 
Then I'm going to put these caps back on. Then uh, this thing will be permanently mounted. And uh, then I'm going to clean up my wires there and I'm going to put a trim board down the side there. And we're going to be done. So, I'm really happy. This worked out really well. And uh, I think I'm going to be calling this one. And uh, thanks for coming along. And we'll see you on the next one.